Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we'll be looking at and reflecting on some of the psalms from the Bible, which were written as songs that could still be sung, but can also still be used as prayers. Now, a brief disclaimer before getting into this psalm. The psalms will be numbered differently in different translations of the Bible. This is a very, very old discrepancy, and to help clear things up, I'll be explaining what number the psalm has in the Dewey Rheims Bible and in the Revised Standard Version. However, the episodes themselves will list psalm numbers as they're given in the Dewey Rheims Bible. Sorry if this is confusing. Anyway, this is Psalm 20 in the Dewey Rheims Bible, but Psalm 21 in the RSV. Unto the End, a Psalm for David. Brief Description In thy strength, O Lord, the king shall joy, and in thy salvation he shall rejoice exceedingly. Thou hast given him his heart's desire, and hast not withholden from him the will of his lips, for thou hast prevented him with blessings of sweetness. Thou hast set on his head a crown of precious stones. He asked life of thee, and thou hast given him length of days for ever and ever. This most likely refers to King David, who has been given many blessings from God, only a few of which are listed here. Of course, David didn't live forever, though, at least not on earth. His glory is great in thy salvation. Glory and great beauty shalt thou lay upon him. As great as David's glory was on earth, it's far greater in heaven. For thou shalt give him to be a blessing for ever and ever. Thou shalt make him joyful in gladness with thy countenance. For the king hopeth in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High he shall not be moved. Because David placed his hopes in God, God undoubtedly made him happy. Let thy hand be found by all thy enemies. Let thy right hand find out all them that hate thee. May God defeat everyone who decides to fight against him. Thou shalt make them as an oven of fire. In the time of thy anger the Lord shall trouble them in his wrath, and fire shall devour them. Ending up in hell is no fun. Their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. Nothing you leave behind in this life lasts forever, and if you don't do God's will, it's all for nothing. For they have intended evils against thee. They have devised counsels which they have not been able to establish, for thou shalt make them turn their back. In thy remnants thou shalt prepare their face. God often prevents evil and selfish plans from succeeding, as he did at the Tower of Babel. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy own strength. We will sing and praise thy power. We want to be on the winning side, and we revere the power of God, because, among other things, we know what side that is. This is a psalm to describe the deeds and power of God, and so it's mainly a song of praise. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.